<laughs> now, Australia is a land of world champions and number ones, and now we can add a new entry to our list of world-beating accomplishments. We've become one of the most expensive countries in the world. If you've ever dreamed of living lush in New York, London or Paris but thought you couldn't afford it, think again. The cost of living in Australia is now outstripping many of the globe's premier destinations. Even with the strong Aussie dollar and economy, a study released by the Centre for Independent Studies shows staples like fruit and vegetables, DVDs, books, cars and housing costs are several times more expensive than in Europe. But why do we get slapped with higher prices than the rest of the world? Well, Oliver Mark, the author of the report, claims it's not the markets themselves, but rather our government that has made it that way, through import restrictions, excess stamp duty and additional taxes. I'm getting annoyed. I'm getting annoyed because politicians, both sides of politics, are always talking about, you know, Australian families doing it tough. And it's these, the same politicians that are actually driving up prices for ordinary consumers. With such incredible price differences and Christmas just around the corner, it's not hard to see why we're all starting to shop online. Financial guru Sam Henderson is here to help us sort it all out. So Sam, the report says we're paying too much for everything and blames the government for causing it. Is it on the money? Yeah, it certainly looks like it. I mean, it's, it's something that's built up over time, really, with, uh, with extra taxes, extra excises. Uh, we're talking stamp duties. So as successive governments come in, they tend to introduce uh, uh, further taxes and further ways to raise revenue. And that, unfortunately, flows onto the cost of the goods and services uh, that we have in Australia. And it is, unfortunately, a, a very expensive place to, uh, to live. Uh, by comparison, Sam, I have a question for you. I pay $1,000 here for a flat screen TV. Same television in the States cost $660. Where's that $230 difference gone? Yeah, absolutely. Listen, in Australia, we tend to have more middlemen and we tend to, uh, to add a little bit in on the, uh, on the retail side of things. And also, the, the manufacturers are cashing in. And Sam, there's a reason you're our money man and not Limo. Did you realise that calculation was way out, it's Limo? <laughs> it's still $330. <laughs> I really do need to calculate it. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, help me here. Aren't we bringing this problem on ourselves because... We just want it all now and we've got to a point where we can't tell the difference between having real money and being able to borrow the damn stuff. Yeah, listen, there's no doubt about that. And we can, we can look at the uh, examples from Europe right now where you've got countries with 180% of debt trying to repay that debt and uh, uh, increase taxes to people that don't, don't pay taxes. But in Australia, you know, we've got a very high uh, standard of living. Uh, our philosophy, I suppose, has been one of we would rather employ our brothers and sisters than, uh, than try to reduce the cost of goods and services. Now, everyone would love to pay less for everything. That would just be easier and we'd have more money to save and spend on other cool stuff. But... The government can't just magically lower the cost of living, can it? No, I, I think what this report's suggesting, and they've actually come out with not only an analysis but some suggestions on how we can uh, uh, implement these possible suggestions in, in our, uh, our, our political system. But, you know, just imagine uh, uh, Tony Abbott coming out and saying, right, we're going to lower prices, but what we have to do is we have to make uh, uh, a million people unemployed and we have to uh, push down interest rates, which is a positive, but uh, what, what's going to happen is there's going to be more unemployment, uh, unions are going to go crazy, and, uh, you know, Australia just won't be a livable place. So once again, it'll be political suicide to introduce those sorts of policies. So I think what you're saying is we've just got to be happy that we're getting ripped off for everything. Uh, exactly right. <laughs> Smile and nod your head. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Thanks for your time. <laughs>